Good evening, my name is Paul LeClaire, and it's my privilege to serve here at Columbia as the director of the university's Global Center for Europe, which is in Paris, France, in a marvelous place called Reed Hall. If you've not been there yet, please do come someday. And I'd like to welcome you to what is really a first in the relatively brief existing existence of the Global Center in Paris, namely the export from the Global Center that Columbia has in Paris to the home campus here on Morningside Heights of a really terribly important cultural event that took place four weeks ago, late September, uh, at the center, namely a Writers of India Festival that was attended by 2,500 persons over five days. For the past two academic years, the Global Center in Paris has partnered with the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, the French National Library, in creating a new and now highly successful series of writers' festivals each September under our joint banners. <clears throat> These have benefited enormously from having Carol Llewellyn, who is here someplace, um, and to acknowledge her presence, as the festival's artistic director, and this Columbia on-campus version of the Writers of India Festival is also included her regulars. We benefited as well from having simply superb sponsors, donors, uh, and partners. And I'm delighted to uh, acknowledge the presence of my wonderful friend, Sue Ann Weinberg, for her generous support of this festival, this year, last year's festival. Mrs. Weinberg serves on the uh, advisory board of the Global Center in Paris. And I'm very pleased that Robert Silvers and Ray Hedeman the editor and the publisher, respectively, of the New York Review of Books are here, uh, and they are a media partner of ours and very, very supportive of the festival this year. Our panel tonight is unfortunately a little smaller, by one fourth, than we planned because Vikas Swarup has been detained in, uh, in India and sends his guests that he cannot be with us this evening. But this is still going to be a great evening. It's one that's being live streamed throughout the world, uh, and the fact that it's going to be a great evening is assured. Uh, but the fact that we have three exceptional writers of India, uh, sometimes living in India, but certainly all of Indian origin, um, on our panel, and because of the intellectual and cultural dynamism of our moderator, Vishaka Desai. Vishaka is one of my all-time favorite people here at Columbia, and she will introduce the panel uh, when she takes the stage in a few moments. But first, a few words about her. As many of you know, uh, the Shaka Desai was the hugely successful president of the Asian Society here in New York from 2004 to 2012, a period during which the Asian Society expanded dramatically its programming and really its cultural and intellectual impact, not only in New York, but in the US and indeed around the world. The Shaka Desai did her undergrad undergraduate work at Bombay University and then earned a doctorate in Asian art history at the University of Michigan. She's been named one of the most, 100 most powerful women in New York. She's been named as one of the 50 most distinguished Indian Americans. And she's also been named by Indian television as the International Woman of the Year. It's hard to beat any of those. Finally, um, presently she serves as a special advisor on global affairs to the president of this great university, as well as being professor of professional practice at Columbia School of International and Public Affairs. And finally, she is my partner in a very, very tight, authentic kind of way in emphasizing here and elsewhere how important it is to think and write about the ways, both positive and negative, that globalization is affecting cultural production and consumption around the world. So please join me in welcoming Vishaka Desai as the moderator of this evening. Vishaka. Thank you. 